watch up, uh, good morning. Ngayon, mag-uusapan natin ang regarding bad breath. Yung uh, a breath that smells like poops. Nakakamit ka na ba ng tao o individual o a person na ang ang amoy ng bunga nga niya is uh, parang tahi. Uh, smells like poops. A feces odor on breath. What it means and what you can do. So everyone experiences breath odor at some point in their lives. So lahat naman tayo may mga iba't ibang amoy ang bunga natin. So it can be concerning to have a strong odor on your breath that brushing and mouthwash don't seem to help. So kahit anong uh, kahit anong toothbrush mo o kahit anong mouthwash mo mabaho pa rin kasi mayroon siyang uh, iba siyang uh, causes na bakit siya nag nagkakaroon ng ganung amoy. So especially if you have breath smells like feces. So while there are some benign causes for breath that smells like poop most of the issues that cause this phenomenon are more serious and require medical attention. So, para malalaman natin at para aware kayo, pag-uusapan natin ang itong breath. Smells like poops. Ang possible causes, guys, is there are a number of different causes of breath that smells like poop. Uh, poor oral hygiene. Yan ang unang-unang nakabakit ang hininga ng isang tao ay parang tae ang amoy. Feeling to brush and flush your teeth properly and regularly can make your breath smell because plaque and bacteria accumulate on and between your teeth. So kahit anong toothbrush mo, brush mo sa ngipin mo, sa bunganga mo, pero hindi ka mag-flush, mayroon na natitira sa mga ano na ngipin mo. Yun ang nagkaka- aroon ng bakteriya at o yun nagdi-develop ng amoy sa bunganga pero so may mga causes doon kung bakit ang hininga mo ay amoy tae so foods that's not removed by flushing stays between your teeth causing your breath to smell unpleasant so a gum disease can also contribute to foul smelling breath isa din yan yung uh, gum mo kung mayroong mga infection, kakabaho din yan ang hininga. Neglecting oral hygiene, oral health also leads to an overgrowth of bad bacteria in the mouth, which can cause the odor on your breath. So, dentures that are not properly clean on a daily basis can also cause severe halitosis. Yun ang bad breath. Bakit ang hininga mo ay amoy tae ay bowel obstruction. So, ang bowel obstruction, guys, is an intestinal obstruction are dangerous medical emergencies that occur when a blockage forms in either large or small intestines. Halimbawa, guys, constipate ka o hindi ka makatae na yung pagkain mo na na-stack doon sa loob kasi hindi ka nakatae, yun ang bunganga mo ay yung uh, amoy niya galing sa tiyan mo na pag yun ang labas sa bunganga mo, ang hininga mo ay parang amoy tae na. Anything you eat while unable to pass a bowel movements remains inside a digestive tract that is causing for bad breath. So decide and please an uh, breath odor. Kung ang tao mayroong uh, intestinal obstruction, ito ang mararamdaman niya. Low appetite, severe blocking, abdominal swelling, constipation, nausea and vomiting, diarrhea, abdominal pain, ability to pass gas or stool. So, yun ang mga signs and symptoms ng intestinal obstruction. So, ang isa pa guys na nagpupus ng uh, breath smells like poops is vomiting. So, magdehydrated ka na kung lagi kang nagsusuka. Can cause also bad breath due to dry mouth. So, ang saliva kasi natin guys, yun ang nag nagmumwes, nag nagreduces ng odor sa bunganga natin. Kasi, in cases of dehydration, you won't produce enough saliva. So, kung magsuka uh, ka ng suka, so dehydrated ka na able siya magproduce ng saliva. So, kaya, ang hininga mo ay mabaho na. The breath smells like poops na siya. Vomiting as a result of a bowel obstruction can cause your breath to smell like feces. Bowel obstruction sa intestinal mo, kaya nagbabamit ka dahil bumabalik yung mga kinain mo, yun ang breath mo smells like poop, like feces amoy tae na ang hininga mo. Yan. So, ang other one is sinus infection. So, ang sinus infection is a respiratory infection. 
can cause your breath to smell like feces. This can cause by bronchitis, viral colds, strep throat. So, isa din yan siya sa nagkukos. Ang hininga mo ay amoy tayo. Kasi when bacteria move from your nose into your throat, it can cause your breath to have an incredibly unpleasant odor. Since silent symptoms ng sinus infection, guys, is the nasal drainage, thick and yellow-green in color, a cold that lasts more than 10 to 14 days, low-grade fever, irritability and fatigue, postnatal drip that manifests as nausea, vomiting and cough or sore throat, swollen eyes, headache. Yun ang mga sign and symptoms of sinus uh, infection. Kaya namamaho ang hininga mo. GERD, gastroesophageal reflux disease, can cause bad breath. That breath that smells like poop. Kasi your stomach acid flows backward into the esophagus. This acidic backwash can irritate your esophageal lining causing extreme discomfort. So, as ang sign and symptoms naman ng GERD guys, isa karoon ka ng mild reflux, moderate to severe reflux, heartburn in your chest after eating which could be worse at night. Difficulty swallowing, uh, regurgitation of sore liquid or food, or yung parang nagdighay ka na may tubig na maasim, yung parang mayroon kang nagbara sa lalamunan mo, laryngitis, persistent cap, asthma, insomnia. Yun ang mga sign and symptoms ng gastroesophageal reflux disease. Ang isa pa guys na bakit nangangamoy tae ang buong ang hininga mo, is ketoacidosis. Ketoacidosis is a severe complication in people who have diabetes. It occurs mostly of type 1 diabetes when the body produces high level of acids in blood called ketones. It's a medical emergency. That is a medical requires medical attention guys kasi kailangan niya ng hospitalization. So a ketoacidosis could cause breath that smells like feces due to dry mouth or prolonged vomiting kasi nagbabamiting din ang keto, uh, ketoacidosis lagi kang nagsusuka, dehydrated ka na so wala nang saliva ang bunganga mo kaya nangangamoy na siya so a symptoms of ketoacidosis is uh, extreme thirst, frequent urination, dry mouth and skin, nausea or vomiting confusion, abdominal pain, and high blood sugar, high levels of ketones in the urine, a flushed face, a fruity smelling breath, rapid breathing, and fatigue. Yun ang mga sign and symptoms of ketoacidosis. So, ang isa pa guys, kung bakit nang nga mo, ang bunga nga mo ng parang tai, ang acute liver failure can happen suddenly and requires immediate medical attention. It can cause also a breath to smell like feces due to diarrhea and any resulting dehydration. Kasi ang liver failure, mag-diarrhea ka. So, hininga mo ang moy tae. Person with liver failure experiences weight loss, June days, diarrhea, fatigue, appetite loss, or nausea. An itching, easy bruising or leading, ascites, fluid in the abdomen, edema fluid in the legs. So, yun siya ang mga sign and symptoms ng liver failure. There are many ways to treat the condition that cause breath with a fecal odor. Ang poor oral hygiene. If your bad breath is caused by plague, visit a dentist for a cleaning. So, if you have gum disease, treat it to the control the inflammation in your mouth kailangan magpadentest ka na. So, ang bowel obstruction naman is seek medical attention. For severe obstruction, required surgery na siya. So, you may prescribe antibiotic, pain reliever, or medication to reduce nausea and vomiting. So, treatment of vomiting depends it causes. Viral infection or food poisoning symptoms must allowed to pass requires anti-nausea or IV fluids in the, in the case of dehydration. Yun siya ang gamot. 
so sinus infection. So it's mostly treated with antibiotics, pain medication to treat discomfort caused by infection. It's a GERD naman, gastroesophageal reflux disease uh, may be treated with over-the-counter or antacids, proton pump inhibitors, or medicines that help the lower esophageal sphincter stay closed. So, avoid foods that aggravate your symptoms. Mga acidic food, yun ang makag-aggravate ng GERD mo. Ang ketoacidosis naman, guys, is so to treat in the hospital to normalize blood sugar insulin levels. So, insulin therapy, fluid replacement, antibiotic, if your ketoacidosis is triggered by an infection or other illness. Liver failure naman, guys. Doctor may treat acute liver failure with medication that reverse the effects of poisoning or a liver transplant. So if liver cirrhosis, which can lead to chronic liver failure, you may treat it dependence on alcohol, administered medication, hepatitis, advice to lose weight, or treat it with other medication that control the causes and symptoms of cirrhosis. So how to treat at home, guys? If not severe, you can treat at home with simple remedies that may help reduce your breath odor. So brushing your teeth after each meal, flossing daily, using balancing mouthwash daily. So using a tongue scraper to remove bacteria and food particles. Chewing fresh parsley or mint leaves. Chewing sugar mint gum. Avoiding smoking and foods that cause your breath to smell unpleasant. Drinking uh, plenty of water and using a mouthwash formulated for dry mouth. So treatment should cure or resolve bad breath within two weeks. If it is treated properly, the odor in your breath should be reduced or eliminated. Hanggang dyan na lang guys. Sana magsuportahan tayo. Sana may napupulot kayong aral sa video kong ito. Salamat po guys.